You saw what the majority leader has done over the weekend yes, we want about to get the to question that. of lists. You know, this is what is called PR with the Kenyan public because it is obvious. And my learned friend uh, Ahmed Nasser posted something immediately this Garissa attack happened. And it suggested that there's something, uh, the problem is more internal than even external. And then when we say, give us a list of the persons who are known to be harboring, dealing, housing, and cooking for these terrorists, you say, I don't know anybody, anything. And that person is still a leader in this republic. That's yes. what is called PR. Let's talk about that list. Well, Matangi, I'll come to you because we saw that press conference, yeah. you know, that uh, we saw the little majority, Ed and Duale, read that statement from the leaders from Northeastern talking about this list. So it wasn't prompted by anyone. They, mm. of their own volition, decided to come out and perhaps whatever it is that motivated that that to show concern or their seriousness, right. you know, Nobody said knows. made that promise. Mm. Here we are, time has lapsed. Then now he's coming around and saying, I don't know anyone in that list. Yeah, and no, that no, no. has got him to get hit even from within. Kayseri is saying, bring that list. Mm. The TNA chair is also saying, where's that list? Don't just say things. Where do you first stand? I'd want to hear on that, right. on Duale and the list. Uh, on the issue of Duale, on the issue of, of, of the list, I want to say also clearly, like every other Kenyan, that indeed it is the Honorable Duale and his team who said that they will be providing and giving a list of the people who are, co who, who are involved or who could be implicit in, in, in uh, terrorism. But remember that also he himself said that we have forwarded a recommendation. War on terrorism is a sensitive war. Sometimes you could, could name people, once, 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 once you name people, <coughs> there could be repercussions. He, you could name people and they flee before they're arrested. Good you gracious. So, <laughs> so it is upon but, him. But, but, but if, if he has named people and forwarded that list, then, then but, well and good. It, if he's done, done it through the president. Stop this. But, Stop but, time, but excuse me, my, my friend, you have your, your, you have okay. your own say. Stop and and, and, time, and, and, like, a, and like, a, like I told man. you, what? Like I told you, you two gentlemen. So you're saying yeah. he will not announce these names because he, the if, if, will if run indeed away he the has not taken it through to the president using that recommendation that he said, then he can bring it to public. But that is at his own disc discretion because he did not say that he's going to bring it to Mutula or to Omar or and to Kaiseri, Ford or to the anyone. The interior can't. minister is saying now, produce those names, so there's no way that would have gone to the president. And the interior minister surely does not. Now, so now, 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 what, that sounds a lot like uh, another line of diverting attention from the. <laughs> once, once, once they have harmonized that <laughs> position, because I don't think there is any conflict as far as that's concerned. Okay, Once they have harmonized, yeah. then they would, they, they would be able to know who and who has been named and who has not been named. Uh, let me Please. say this. Um, uh, he's talking about lists that you cannot make public. The, 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 the IG gazetted about 87 I individuals and organizations and yes. asked them to report to them before they are arrested. Exactly. Don't, you, 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 you know that you uh, today I'm so silent, I'm so distraught by <laughs> the arguments here. You know, you know, sometimes when you play, play in the Premier League, you don't want them to start playing for a flower for <laughs> But that's it and done. Uh, <laughs> that's it and done. Oh uh, my goodness. What's that said and done? I think um, my, my Dwale is a brother, mm. and I, I have an extraordinary, uh, you know, a personal relationship based on family and stuff like that. But I want to ask him to, 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 make, to, 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 yeah. to deliver that list. Yes. Because it's an undertaking they made, yes. as you said, with, out of their own volition. Mm -hmm. uh, the minute I saw it, I said, oh my God, that's a wrong strategy. Yes. Oh, the entire rhetoric after the Garissa attack was wrong strategy by the Northern Kenya leaders. Mm -hmm. I have defended part of the position that you, we wanted to implicate him in terrorism. He's not a terrorist. I do not believe he's a good man in terms of his, his own <coughs> real personal and social profile. Uh, I do not at, at any moment believe that Duale is complicit or financial or anything in terms of terror. But if they had said that they were going to make a certain list, and it doesn't necessarily mean that that list is a, a people who are necessarily, uh, you know, uh, uh, financing terrorism. But we, we have, what I, I had one of, the, one of the leaders from Northern Kenya qualify to me what actually they meant. You know, there are all these young men and women in the Muslim community who've disappeared. Their, their whereabouts are not known. You saw those two, two, three, the two beautiful girls mm. who went to Syria. Very distorted. Yeah, there is a young gentleman who's in Syria. There are a lot of families who are missing there. So they their, said their they meant members. what? So according to them, they were going to give an itinerary of these people so that we are quite conscious. Because you see, some of those people can slip back. But they were very clear you know, on the you know, financials. They were not talking about people who are uh, missing. But uh, for me, mm. in, in my assessment, whatever they promised in public domain, 
they must deliver it. And I think Nkaiseri also has better ways of asking Duale. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, should, he should use his, 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 his formal, for, formal sanctions as a minister for interior through, through whatever agencies that they need. But I think my own ass assessment is that it's, it's, it's doing them so, so much harm that they need to deal with it once and for all. Yeah. I, I think it's doing them a lot of harm. They're losing their authority and moral credibility. And it impacts on all of us, even as Muslims. And, and, and therefore, those false proclamations by them, which is a false start, really wrong rhetoric, I think now they need to either to, to, to know where, where they need to break off and, and, and come off with a yeah. bit of credibility. And right now, whether Jubilee should be seen to be reading from the same script, but now you're seeing all of this internal wrangles over this list. Surely I, I, I tell something you, I have said done. in this program, I keep on saying that when Duale speaks and when Duale keeps quiet, it should be treated the same. I tell you. <laughs> it's funny. I Trying tell you. to treat him differently. It's giving the president a bad picture and the administration a bad picture. People died and our hearts are bleeding. Yes. He came like a leader telling us, I know some of these people, I will tell you. If he was lying, he should come out and say, gentlemen, I spoke too soon. In my usual good nature, I was speaking. I remember when the terrorists were being flushed out of Italy. He even threatened to resign. Mm -hmm. He was mad. Now, when people died in his own constituency, again, he was mad. He said, I will tell you, if there is no such list, he should clearly come out and say, gentlemen, I spoke too soon. I'm very sorry. But otherwise, it's giving, it's giving fodder to us and Omar and, and, and Mutula Kilonzo Jr. Now to continue hitting <laughs> the president, Uhuru here, Uhuru here. Even the gains that we have made so far now cannot be seen. You people, go and tell him, because I've seen in the Senate, uh, as you leave Senate to Parliament, there's a lot of noise being made. <laughs> Please tell him that when it comes to security, our hearts are bleeding. We do not want politics. Let me say this. Uh, Ambrose Weda is my senior, and he understands the position of Adam Dwale. The position is in the Constitution. When he says that when he's, he speaks and when he keeps quiet, he should treat the same, you start to wonder a leader of majority should be treated the same when he speaks and when he doesn't speak. It's serious. But the fact of the matter is this Katie and Adam and a beautiful expose about this. You went all the way to Garissa, you analyzed some details. You even had details of why there was a metal detector that was removed. You interviewed the OCPD. There was a lady who was implicated about carrying firearms, etc., etc. What is so difficult about getting to the bottom of what is the problem in Garissa? And therefore, the fact that a leader can give hope to Kenyans, because when all these parents of these children that we have buried, they know in their hearts that they will, they will never get their children back. When a leader gives hope to Kenyans that we might, for a reason, find one perpetrator of some of these things, you give them false hope. When you turn around, you know, uh, you know he, he, this, if he was saying this in Makweni, you, I mean, there will be trouble. He, he retreats to Garissa and makes a statement somewhere where all of us cannot, you know, pluck him out and deal with him. The fact is, is that you then create a sense of despondency. And you know, unlike what Weda says, when Dwale speaks, you see Uhuru, you see Ruto. And therefore, because he represents them as a majority leader, you must take this matter seriously. And as, as an Omar has said, he might be a good person. But every time you make these statements, you create the wrong impression that the Jubilee administration is playing cat and mouse with Kenyans about things that you cannot deal, de, de, attempt to do so. Because 147 Kenyans, young Kenyans, are dead and their parents buried their Absolutely. children without identifying them. We must tell them. When you attend those funerals, you don't, know whether, you don't even know whether to bury yourself because it is an outcry. And therefore, I'm pleading with them. I'm <coughs> pleading with them. The president ought to deal with Dwale and ought to deal with him the way I saw him dealing with that literally when he was in parliament. And tell him, Dwale, issue a press conference today and say, Dwale, I've given you an ultimatum. I want that list. And that list should come and as well.